Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is New Perspective Success 2019 Modules 1 to 4 Sam Capstone Project 1A. Midwest Executive Professionals Improve a Database by Creating and Modifying Tables, Queries, Forms and Reports. Here, first of all, we need to download this Excel Start file which I have already downloaded here. Now let's move on to our project step. So the first step is Midwest Executive Professionals is a form that connects professional job seekers and with the job opening. You work in the research department of Midwest Executive Professionals as a research analysis. You are developing an Excel database application to help manage and analyze companies, jobs, applicants and job placements facilitated by your company. In design view of the applications table, modify the table with the following instruction. In design view of the applications table, modify the table with the following instruction. Okay, so first of all, we will open this ad, uh, ad, um, admissions table, sorry, applications table in the design view. Right click and click open in design view. Yeah, in design view. Then modify the table with the following instructions. Add a new field after the application date field name, follow up date with a date or time data type, application date field name. Yeah, here follow up date and date or time data type. Then use application ID to rename the ID field okay so the ID field is this one so backspace then type application ID now save and close the applications table save and close the applications table now the second instruction is in the data sheet view of the job seekers table complete the following instruction in data sheet view of the job seekers table job seekers table this one data sheet view delete the record form richard markley sorry marley job seeker id 14 <coughs> delete the record for yeah richard markley record markley or we can say richard yeah right click here and then select delete record if you click yes, you won't be able to undo this delete operation. Are you sure you want to delete this record? Yes. Now, the added John to be Jonathan for job seeker ID 10. Job seeker ID 10, here John. It should be Jonathan. So here, added the name J O N A T H A N. J O N A T H A N. So here it is. Now enter a new record into the table using the information in table 1. Okay. Here. Type uh, Leonardo. First name Leonardo. <coughs> And last name, Egon. Phone number, triple five, triple one, triple eight, seven. Triple five, triple one, triple one, triple eight, seven. And then, in the navigation pane, make industries the new name for the categories table. Okay, first of all, we will save these changes to the job seekers table. One second. Right click save and then we will close it. Now, in the navigation pane, make industries the new name for the categories table. Categories table, this one. Right click, then click on rename and then type industries okay 
after that use the import wizard to append the records from the support underscore ac19 underscore cs 124a in the underscore industries dot xlsx to industries table do not save the import step hint if a warning message appears click open okay use the import wizard to append the records <coughs> <coughs> Use the import wizard to append the records from the support underscore to the industries table. Okay. Go to the external data tab. Okay. What is the problem here? Why I can't select this external data tab? Yeah, now I can select. Okay, so here select the new data source from file from Excel and then browse, then browse this file from download section the 1 to 4 a industries click open then append a copy of the records to the table and then select uh, industries table okay industries table and then click ok here uh, do not save the import steps click finish and close So it's done. Uh, this one is the industries. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Now create a new table in the table design view with the following is specifications. Okay. Uh, go to the create tab, then select the table design. Enter employees as the new table name. Okay. Save with the name employees. <coughs> 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 so first of all we need to enter field. So add a new field name employee ID with the number data type. Employee ID with the number data type number data type okay then set it as the primary key sorry here right click and select primary key now add two new fields named employee first and employee last in that order <coughs> <coughs> Employee first and employee last in that order shown. They should have the short text data type. Short text data type and the field size properties of 20. So this is the field size properties. So make it 20. Then we will take employee last field. Short text and the field size property of 20. Now add a new field name email with the hyperlink data type hyperlink data type set the required property to yes required property yeah this one to yes then add a new field named salary with the currency data type currency data type here select currency then set the default value property to 45,000 default value property to 45,000 then add a new field name extension with the short text data type extension with the short text data type and update the input mask property using the input mask wizard. 
uh, update the input mask property input mask property will bring the input mask wizard okay select the extension input mask and update the field to 999 so that 999 is the final input okay so here select the must have table first okay yes click on employees yeah okay uh, it should be 999 4 times 9 format uh -uh. Select the extension input mask wizard. Okay, so this one, click on next. Yeah, 999. Placeholder character should be uh, okay, next. Without symbols in the mask or with the symbols in the mask, with the symbols. <coughs> Accept the default in the last window. Next, finish. So here it is. Okay, now save the table and then close it. Save the table and then close it. Now in data sheet view of the job seekers table, complete the following options. Delete the comment field. Move the phone field to the la to be the last field in the data sheet. Short the records in ascending order by last name. Save and close the job seekers table. Okay, so basically this is not a whole tutorial video. This is just a preview. There are total. Uh, there are total 19 instructions in this file from which I have already explained you five instructions. Now for the rest of the assignment, you need to contact me on my WhatsApp or email, whichever you want. My all contact details are provided in the description box. So contact me and get any type of assignment help from there. In case any doubt, you can ask me through comment box. So thank you. Thank you for watching my video.